Hi, my name is Ben Hedges and I'm a SharePoint developer and instructor for Point8020. In this video I will demonstrate how to create content types for SharePoint 2010 using Visual Studio 2010. I will create a content type called Official Documents. This content type will inherit from the Document content type and will add a choice column named Review Status that can be used to specify one of three choices for official documents when they are uploaded to the site. These options will be Review Required, Review in Progress and Review Completed. I will create a new project in Visual Studio and for this example I will expand the Install Templates and click Visual Basic. All of the code that I create for this solution will be developed in XML so it makes little practical difference if I choose Visual Basic or C Sharp as the code type for my project. I will select a project type of Content Type and I'll provide a name for the project of official documents. I will select Deploy as a Farm Solution and click Next. I have an opportunity to specify the content type from which my new content type will inherit. I will pick Document. This will create a unique ID for my content type that includes the parent content type ID. When my content type is deployed, SharePoint reviews the full ID hierarchy and retrieves the parent content type. It then uses the parent content type to specify base columns and settings that the new content type will automatically inherit. I will start by editing the content type elements.xml file. I will edit the name attributes and I will edit the description. And note the content type ID. This is the unique identifier that includes the ID of the parent content type. You can see the parent content type at the beginning of the identifier and it is commented above this section in the XML file. I want to add a field called review status to my new content type. So first I need to define the new columns and I can do that in the XML file using a field tag. The field needs a unique identifier, so I have a GUID that I created earlier using the Visual Studio GUID gen. I provide a name and display name along with the type of the column. In this case I will choose Choice. There are the three choices that I will provide. Having added the field definition, I will now specify that my content type will include that field. To do that, I add a field ref tag to the field refs tags in the content type. This really acts as a pointer to the field that I require and I use the identifier to specify that field. I will provide a name and a display name for the column on this content type. I will now deploy the project. I now need to do a bit of administration so that I can use my new content type. I will apply this content type to the shared documents library. First I need to ensure management of content types is enabled. And with the content type management enabled, I will ensure this content type is specified for the shared documents library. So that's how content types are enabled on this library. Now let me use the content type. I will add a new document that is an official document. And then in the drop down list, note the review status column that was associated with the official documents content type. 